So, I meant to talk about this two weeks ago. I never got around to it. Um, there's a Facebook page, and I just want to acknowledge it. Um, and just say fair play, because they did do a protest outside the Department of Transport. Um, um, about the f free pass. You'd be like, what does to do with the free pass? So, basically, during the lockdowns and things like that, you know, you ha everything the same was really went online. You had the book tickets and the fancy, the book seats and the fancy, etc, etc, etc. You couldn't just walk on a bus at one stage. Um, you had the book. You had, you had the book. Your ticket because there was obviously the bus stations were really just closed. The majority of them were closed. You couldn't go in. Like for example, in Cavan, um, still to this day it's closed. The bus, the bus, um, station inside the bus station, but you still can get on the bus. But at the time, I don't know was that the case. Um, I didn't get a bus on bus during that time, but um, obviously people when you get to sixty five, when you basically get to your pension age, state pension, you're entitled under the constitution to, uh, to get a free pass. Um, you know many people I know. Who are senior citizens have a free pass, even though they don't go far. You know, they could be going up to a hospital appointment in Dublin, as many of them do, uh, or to other places, you know, visit them family, and they get a free pass and they don't have to pay a anything towards anything. They get on the train, the dart, whatever, on, on uh, local lake buses, uh, bus and buses, they don't have to pay a set. It's different with private buses, so I don't know if they have to pay or does the state pay for them. Um, I don't I don't get that one. I, and again, I, I didn't come across any of these, but I know I'm aware of of some people in Marlon that did come across this and I'm aware of some things but they haven't come to me about it then obviously there hasn't been anything in Calvin. So you know, obviously I wasn't involved. And again I just seen this in Co corruption awareness on and I leave a link in the description to their Facebook um account. Um but yeah I just wanted to talk about it. and obviously too um yeah, obviously uh, again going back to what I was saying. I keep interrupting myself and the biggest interrupter of myself ever. But um, but basically it's a book a ticket and obviously it was something like ten euro maybe from Cavan to Dublin on expressway whatever, um and you had to pay for it you had to pay for it. the free pass they wouldn't accept the free pass on bus drivers, um and you had to pay for it because they booked it online and X Y and Z, um and obviously they talked to the minister for transport he was nowhere to be found he's probably asleep in his bed somewhere in Ryan on the day as he always is, um, but again you know there was I don't know was there any clue was there anything solved was the okay it was a solved. I take for example, um, like again, my one of my family members, um, was on a bus and bus he had to go up to Dublin for a, an appointment, um, you know, just when the lockdown was going on too, because it wasn't an important appointment, um, in the hospital, um, and he didn't he didn't book it online because he wouldn't have a clue how they used it and that he's old fashioned, um, um, and obviously he just went on the bus and the bus driver was like that's fair enough and especially the, the on the way down they were like that's okay too so they didn't. Past much max, but there was there is some bus drivers again. There's some ignorant people, um, ignorant bus drivers are just ignorant looking for an argument, um. Again, the, the you know, there's and that's probably the, what's happening here. But again, um, they do whoever has a free pass and they say this to you straight. If you have paid for a bus ticket or if you've been forced to pay by the bus driver, or the bus conductor, the whatever, whoever on bus errand or on the train or on the doubt or whatever during them times you book your ticket. I would say to Bus Aaron, you know, you're entitled to get your money back. I know some people say it's only ten euro or whatever. It's not the point. Um it's a right that you have a free pass. It is really a right that you have a free pass. When you get you walked all your life in the state, you paid your way in the state, at the end of the day you have a free pass, you're allowed to travel on public transport. Um you know, it's a it's a it's a small take you I suppose from the state for your hard work in the state all, all your life, all your work in life. And there's a small thing if you wanted to travel or you wanted to go anywhere, that you didn't have to have that um, burden on your shoulder having to pay for travel um, within the Irish state. Um, and again, you're, you're entitled to a refund. You are really entitled to a refund. But again, um, hopefully it has been resolved. Again, I haven't looked into it too much. Um, again, I haven't heard of anything in Cavan about it, so um, I basically kept myself out of it. But again, I, I tried to dissuade it and see... Um, if people have again, if people want me to look into cases for them, I have no problem. But because bus errands an ignorant crowd anyway, um, the biggest ignorant fools you can come across. Because some of them in bus errands, especially in that higher office in bus errands, they're ignorant, um, just purely ignorant cuts. Um, excuse my language, but you know, let's just put them straight to them because they're just ignorant, completely ignorant. Um, but so you know, I would understand that. And obviously, I'd love to get another, another, annoy them another bit. Um, because they did do a lot to me when I was looking for my bus ticket and school bus tickets, um, which was entitled to, and obviously I, you know, I didn't get, um, which is you know which is unfair, um, but again, you know I got the abuse from bus owners. That's basically what I got. And we're talking about for standing up and giving out to them, um, 
but uh, yeah, I have no problem if anybody wants me to go back to Bus Island and shout at give them a give them peace of my mind. Uh, I have no problem. I I spoke to the higher ups in Bus Island. I have no problem in giving them another bit of a my a, a taste of my mind. Um, it's probably a different crowd now because the waking cuts back then. But anyway, um, excuse my language again, but that's just putting it straight to them. But anyway, take care everybody and be safe out there. Uh, and let me know if you hold anything about it, uh, or if you've been uh, if you've been involved in this. Thank you.